Hi, this is Bird from birdsvgs.com and in this video I'll be showing you how I put the teacup pennant together. You can see how to put the teapot pennant together in another video. So these are all the elements you'll need. So starting off you have your doily edged pennant, which of course can be used as it is on its own. But if you'd like to add all the decoration pieces, add some glue to the back of your pattern paper triangle and place it into the middle of your pennant and there should be a small border you try to get it as even as possible all around the edges and you'll also have two small circles from the same paper and you'll use these as strengthening holes to go around where your thread or your ribbon goes through. Although these, these small um, pieces can be tricky to deal with, I do find using a fine line applicator makes it really easy to add glue to those. Okay, now we're moving on to our teacup. We'll add glue onto the back of that. And we'll glue it down directly to its matting layer. And you also have a tea saucer piece. Add that just below with an even border. And that will sit on top of these circles. So these need gluing directly on top of each other. Make sure you've got a nice even border when you stick those together. Then I'm going to make sure that I've got my pattern paper facing up and down. And I'll pop some 3D foam pads on the back. And after I've removed the backs, I'll place that onto my pennant. using more 3D foam pads. I'll add some to the back of my teacup. And place that into the middle of my circle. Of course, you don't need to use 3D foam pads here. I just thought it would add a bit more dimension. And here you are. This is how they look when they're finished. Of course, you could use each of the designs individually or you can alternate them as I have in my picture.